One of the hallmarks of good governance is okay. one of the hallmarks of good governance is bipartisanship in taking decisions. The governor of Ikit State, Abiodun Oyibanji, is towing this line. Now, Governor Oyibanji visited the former governor of the state, Shagoni, urging him to return to the All Progressive Congress APC, where he was the deputy national chairman before he left. The governor said his visit is in fulfillment of his pledge to personally call and visit Oni, who he described as a brother and a leader. I think they've, they've dispensed of the Supreme Court case yeah. against Oyibanji. Yeah. Because Before, after the election, really... after the election, when he went to court, Oibanji tried to reach out to all the stakeholders and people that he contested against and the big people in yeah. Ekiti State. So maybe he waited for this time yeah. not to say that might preempt the outcome the of the outcome court of the... judgment. So they've gone through the tribunal, they've gone through yeah, the court of appeal, the and then they've got to the Supreme Court, and the court has ruled in favor of governor or Oibanji, mm -hmm. now is the time to come together and um, build the state. Build the states. And Shegoni being the former deputy national chairman yes. of the APC, having a very close relationship with even the president-elect, ah. Bola Ahmed Tinobu. Yeah. And uh, I think this is a step in the right direction. Yeah. And uh, I think Oibanji, governor Biodin Oibanji is showing that uh, he will keep his word. I remember attending one of his uh, campaign programs in Adwekiti. Where he made a promise that uh, the election for him is not, is not do or die. And then when he wins, he will personally invite all his uh, co contestants into his uh, to support and participate as much as they can in his administration. And I think he started that almost immediately, he was sworn in. And then to, this current move is a step in the right direction. Knowing fully well that. Uh, Shagwani is a former governor of the state. And if you take a look at Ekiti, uh, Shagwani is almost the only person that is not already in uh, the team as a former governor. Because uh, David Fayoshe, with his support for uh, Shwaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu all along and his current standings, that look, uh, the, the man won the election and he should be sworn in and should be allowed to uh, rule. He's already uh, showing that he's not advanced to the ruling party. Adeni uh, Ade uh, Bayo is in APC, the current is the current minister. Then uh, immediate past governor Fayemi is in APC. So if uh Ibanji can get Shegwani to also return home as a piece, it will give his uh, government sound footing, no, reduce the pressure. Not necessarily of the returning home, but yeah. You know, Support working the with him, work yeah, with him. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But he was he was explicit about okay. return to APC. Mm. He told him, oh, uh, we, "You are our leader. We know you. Come home." And if you look at where uh, uh, is standing currently, SDP. Many people will tell you, insofar is not in the uh, PDP. It's closer home. So bring this structure back. Let's run the state together. Is is the message? Uh, Shagwani took to, I mean, Ibanji took to Shagwani, and it's a step, like I said, in the very right direction. Chris Andrew is calling us from Oweri in Imo State. Thank you for Hello, joining evening, us. Sir. Good evening, sir, and good evening to the gentleman. Good evening. Uh, I want to speak on the Premato Stadia. Okay. You see, while I try to sympathize with anybody, I also want to tell Nigerians, especially our leaders, and what happened to Ekwere Madu was just an example of people failing to do their responsibility as a community. A man who actually held, was among the kingmakers of this country. A man who actually was among the decision makers of this country. But it was quite pitiable and unfortunate that we never had such government establishment that can conduct such oppression in, in Nigeria. Definitely, the author is being important. In a very sane society, are we not supposed to have one of them in all the geopolitical zones? That even if they take that boy to any of them, they probably go on without it, it doesn't match. They can do work and come back and they can get, probably get another them. But because they think, feel, and believe that other people's children will die in Nigeria, 
which often they send emails, they die in their numbers and thousands, all reported in this country. But they have our taxpayers' money, they can fly their own children abroad. This is, this is a warning to Nigerian leaders. If we don't come back home and invest in this country and make this place better for all of us, it is so designed and unfortunate, and the sad truth is that they might be facing some of these things. Because when they have more issues, they will run to abroad. How I wish they will have a situation or a law in Nigeria that forbids any government official from seeking medical uh, treatment. Thank you, Kisandu. Kisandu calling us from Ohio. I think the, that message is clear mm -hmm. about let's develop something inside here. And uh, before Ekorimadu went abroad, I have it in good authority that there's some hospitals, in medical facilities Nigeria. in Nigeria that can conduct um, operations like that. It's done here, safe, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, 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 it's a lesson. It's, it's a lesson, and it's, it's, it's just all about this distrust of things that are our own. If at that level he doesn't have mm. faith yeah, in at the that level. facilities, just, yeah, at, at that, that level. level. Mm. So will you blame you me or exactly, Chris exactly. if we decide to go to India? Exactly. Yeah. At that level, <laughs> we feel like he can't do anything. But he has forgotten that he's been a, a leader for a long time. Yeah. And then, yeah. You know, it's not for it's, me. I don't distract, but I think he, he, I'm think I'm sure he's regretting most of his actions right now. Okay. Tony, going back to Ekit State now, mm -hmm. what um, Governor Ibanji is mm -hmm. trying to do? Yes, I, I, I think, for me, I think I salute the governor. Mm. I salute him for dropping his ego, mm. for his courage. He's been in Nigeria for a long time now, so we know how this thing works. Takes all. Before I say governor going to beg, I mean, he didn't win. He didn't win. He didn't lose. He didn't win a takes all. Mm. So for him to say, okay, let me I think. For that fact that the Supreme Court has spoken. Fact, yes, yeah, this case, you know, so in, there's no um, case in court. Going to say, Please, work with me. That is how Nigeria is supposed to be. We get, you win election, try and look at I me. Mean, you've won. Reach out to people. Because for me, you still need them. They are part and parcel of that state or the country. Understood. Reach out to them and say, please, the election is over now. Those mistakes we encountered during the election, just bring them. Let's see if we can work on them and get this country working or get this state working. So that's why I said I salute. And they are very rare. They are very rare. Just look around the country and tell me the governor can do that. What's it? Move on. So if you like, can go to just go do whatever you like. I'm the governor at the moment. If a state must succeed, you need every hand on deck. Both the losers and winners. And that's why I dove my heart for the governor of the state for this. Mm -hmm. And I pray a lot of them, I pray a lot of them, I wish they take a cue from him. Mm -hmm. Shago Oni has been governor for Ikiti State. You know, he was, I think, a one-time governor. Mm -hmm. And he's a gentleman. I mean, I see the two of them. I see two gentlemen coming on board. Mm -hmm. two, see, I think I've met Shago Oni, as a, as, as, as I've met him, and I've interacted with him. And I think he's a core gentleman to the core. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, he's a gentleman to the core. And I think, I pray he listens to... What Governor Biyaja um, Oyebanji is talking about is, is, I mean, saying and coming and see how they can put Ekiti, you know, to get, I mean, Ekiti first before anything. The election is over. I mean, I, 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 for me, first thing is I salute his courage and I, I, I drop my heart for him for, for taking that move. The it's, political it's a party very rare move. he used as a vehicle in contesting as a social democratic party. Um, at the end of the day, I think apart from the APC and the PDP and lately the Labour Party, people just use this as a special purpose Thank vehicle you. to get to power. <laughs> Immediately they get to power, you hardly see people. That's why I was surprised when I was told that um, Senator Ifan Yuba still ran under YPP. Yeah. He's still, still one. Is one, is one person that has shown us that uh, if you have a mind of your own, you mm. can stay anywhere and get things mm -hmm. done. He, he won Senate with that YPP. Mm. First time. First time. Second time, no. He contested for governorship. Yeah. The same plan, the same YPP. I was expecting him to move and back to the And he did the very well. Far better than some people who used the non parties. And then he went back to the same YPP, got his second time as a senator. And he, from what I learned and from what I've seen in Anambra, I haven't visited the state a couple of times. 
is building the party. He's not just sitting pretty and using it as a vehicle. He is building the party. That's why what others don't do. And that's how it should be. And that's how it should be. Anybody should not be surprised if IPP one day wins the governorship in Anambra and then extend to neighboring states. Mm -hmm. Because this man is taking time to build the party. So coming to AKT, where Oni went to SDP, um, Oni is a politician with a progressive inclinations. If you look at his politics, even when he might go on the platform of uh, PDP, a lot of people will tell you, this is a gentleman, this is a progressive, and in no time he found himself in the midst of progressives. Joined the CN, progressed to APC. He only left uh, APC for PDP, briefly, when it became obvious that he was not going to get uh, a governorship uh, ticket. And when he got to PDP, Fauci made sure he didn't get the ticket, too. That was so, Fauci's sole responsibility. He made sure. He was not interested in who gets it, but not check money. Yeah. And once that happened again, he was like, look, I'm going to prove to you people that have followership. So he went to SDP. And his performance Did for somebody know. who got into that party and built it yeah. uh, almost uh, a few weeks to uh, the general election is not bad. So that shows you what is what politically. Tony is calling us from Benue State. Uh, Otoko in Benue State. Uh, uh, yes, Tony. Uh, I'm seeking respect of uh, uh, Senate, uh, Deputy Senate uh, President, uh, Kerry Madu. Yeah. Yeah. I so felt so sorry for him <laughs> for what he's going through. But at times we need to tell ourselves the truth. If this case has been in Nigeria, this is how the thing will die down. I really felt for him, seriously. But if it has been in Nigeria, this case will have died down. The rich will always go out. Okay. So, so, so. Uh, thank you, Tony. Uh, Tony, thank you for your contribution.